Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and welcome to TC's Towing. Now, we have just received a call that there is a international lodestar that the engine will barely run. It's about halfway out in the middle of the river, and whenever the guy tries to move it, it just starts to sputter and stall, and he thinks the engine's knocking, and he wants somebody to come get him. So naturally, that sounds like a job for our IX Wrecker here with the rollback on the back. Let's go out and find him, and uh, first of all, we're going to see how much trouble he's actually in, and then secondly, we're going to haul him back to town. So let's fire this thing up and see what we can do for him. 6-7 Power Stroke roars to life. Whoever parked it last left, left it in reverse. Y'all know this truck. Y'all have seen it before. And since there wasn't any kind of, you know, accident or wreck or anything like that, we are not going to be running the flasher bar. We're just going to pull a single truck out of a river. And hopefully it's not deep enough to where we risk the tow truck. Wouldn't want to do that. We are bringing along our trusty, uh, trusty beans, as you can see there on the dash. And let's just go ahead and get on through this mud real quick and see what we can do. Now, obviously, we have this one equipped with our 45-inch uh, off-road tire setup. Nothing too crazy, but just enough to where we won't have to really worry much about anything if we do get into some tricky terrain. I wanted to make sure we didn't necessarily have highway tires on it because if we had highway tires on it we'd probably already be in trouble with the way the terrain is out here so the terrain out here in the Yukon can definitely be unforgiving and it can definitely be no joke however we're actually going to take this little side route around that mud it seems as though someone's taken this route before I wonder who no idea there on that one couldn't tell you now as we take this little side route around the mud it gives us a second to remind ourselves that the path that is most traveled might not necessarily always be the best one. I mean, there there are always little shortcuts that you can take that could potentially make your day a bit better. Now, as we come back up onto some resemblance of a road, again, the road is not necessarily the best maintained out here in these parts, so you do have to kind of be on your game and watch out. But this setup should definitely not even have any issues at all through here. I mean, we're burying it just up to the bumper. We're probably going to have to... We're probably going to have to uh, change the gear oil in our diffs later. But, you know, uh, they probably look like soup right about now. But neither here nor there. We'll think about that after we get this truck back to civilization. Now, I'm not sure why uh, somebody's semi-trailer is chilling there. I'm sure he... Uh, who knows? I'm sure he'll be right back. I'm sure he'll be right back. And I'm sure it's also a complete and total coincidence that his truck looks very similar to mine. Don't know the guy, and I have no idea why he'd paint his truck pink. Anyway, moving on, we should be getting close to where that Lodestar is just about now, or at least where we think it is based on the report that we got. And this mud might be a little bit tricky coming back out, but I think I have a alternate secondary route that I want to see if I can use uh, once we get the Lodestar loaded up. Now, I had heard that it was a little bit past the Gold Horse mining sign, so we'll start to keep an eye out towards the river as we start to get a little closer. So let's see. We've got a... Oh, we got a big building over there on the left. We'll make our way through here. It should be coming up just up on the right it is a great looking wrecker though i do love this thing especially when you run it in in wrecker trim it looks great so good all right Ooh, suspension didn't like that is that what i hey that is what i think it is let's head out there and assess the damage now we do have a winch on the rollback we also have a winch in the bumper should we need to pull it back this way and let's just kind of encourage it to come back this way real quick and see if ooh, boss is not gonna like that dent in the bumper but let's pull this thing back over towards us and see if we can get an idea of how bad off that engine is so starting off for this We'll use that front winch, and he has a trailer hitch, which will be perfect for our purposes. 
So let's just put my truck in reverse, put the handbrake on. Seems like it's coming along nicely. Not having to worry about that too much. Now, I do want to go ahead and get in that truck real quick and try to fire it up and see how, see how bad off the engine is. Let's swap over. Oh, man. Oh, wow. That engine is really, really, really bad off. Like, it is properly damaged. What if I try to give it some throttle? Oh, it barely goes anywhere, and it makes an awful knocking noise whenever you do try to get it anywhere. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and shut that thing off, because the less time that that engine runs right now, the better. So let's go ahead and turn the wrecker around and get ready to load that load star up. So let's see. Probably the best way to do this is going to be to position ourselves between the trees here. And we'll hit the front end over here. Should have just enough space. Yep. And we'll back this guy up. Easy. Now, I don't necessarily want to load it onto the rollback right here. I do want to winch it a little closer to the edge before I actually, you know, before I actually start to use the rollback. Our brake is locked in. We're just having it come this way with the winch. There we go. Hopefully it fits. Because it is a bit of a long truck. Let's pull it this way just a bit. Now, let's actually go ahead and activate the rollback itself. The only thing with this is I guarantee you that the Lodestar is not going to want to drive up on this rollback of its own free will. So we're going to have to get very, very specific with the winch. Come on. Not feeling too happy about that. Oh, it is really not feeling too happy about that. Let's just see. We're going to break realism a little bit here and activate the anchor. And just see if we can get it to pull close enough to set down. I really don't know, but yeah, let's get it up onto the road real quick and just see if we can get the whole thing on there because I feel like we've got enough space. I feel like we've got enough space. Why did I go that way? That was a horribly silly idea. It's up. It's up. Beautiful. All right. Now. I heavily doubt that it will do this. No way. Oh my god. Well, ignoring the fact that some of our wheel chocks are beyond the end of the truck, we do have this load star actually loaded up on the back of the tow truck and ready to go. Now, granted, this is also the reason why I put a heavy bumper on the IX Wrecker because... The reason why they supply you with those those uh, heavy bumpers is so that once you actually load up a truck on the bed, the front end of the truck isn't way up in the air. So that definitely does help us out a lot. And now we begin the careful journey back to the shop where he can hopefully not only get his engine repaired, but hopefully also get his bumper and grill repaired because I'll tell you what, they're looking a little rough. They are looking a little rough, but I'll tell you that. Easing it up out of the water. The nice thing about running this 6.7 liter power stroke is the fact that it really doesn't care all that much about the fact that it's got all this weight on the back. Like, you can tell that it's there and you can tell that the truck is feeling it, but it's not holding it back to the point where you feel like it's struggling. There's definitely no struggle going on here. It's more of just this thing is getting work done. Make our way through here through the rocks. Just making sure not to 
lean this setup too far because as you can see, she is very top heavy right now. Very, very, very top heavy. But then again, when you've got a Lodestar on the back, I mean, you're gonna imagine that it would be top heavy. At least I would imagine it would be top heavy. Now the sailing should be relatively smooth from this point forward. And, oh my God, it really does hang right off the back of the truck, doesn't it? This is definitely a, just about the max of what I, at least the max length of what I would recommend putting on that rollback. That's for sure. That rollback can't handle much more than this. Mainly because of that big bumper. If we could take the bumper off, we could get this truck to pull back even further. And that would really help us even more. Bouncing around a bit, but not to worry. Should be all right. Should be. Should. Should is the, oper uh, the operative word there. Take a little side cut just around the mud. Be nice and easy with that. Don't end up getting into a mud scenario. Not with this on the back. I'll go ahead and turn my lights on as the sun is starting to fall. Let's go ahead and not go the wrong way. Let's go the proper way, the way that we came in. It is very interesting, though, to watch the suspension on the Lodestar going up and down, even when it's fastened down to the bed of our rollback. Easing it down and through the trees. And at this point, yeah, it should be smooth sailing back to the garage now. Dude will get his Lodestar all repaired and fixed up for a fee, of course. And, uh... He may not have quite as much money in his bank account as before, but his Lodestar will be back on the road, so that's kind of why we're here. Easy. Rolling out now, that's for dang sure. Picking up a tire there in the front. Can really tell when this wrecker is getting down and getting to work. Those lights do look good as well. Getting real close to the garage now, boys. About to mark off another successful recovery. And there is, whoa, not quite sure what that was. We'll have one of the techs look at that later, but here is the garage, and this is where we will be dropping that Lodestar off. So he should be all good now. Let's go ahead and activate that rollback. Just ease it back down. And now, we can unpack the truck. And we'll go ahead and hop into it and just roll it off the bed. Because like I said, I don't want to fire up that engine right now. And we will hop back into the wrecker. We'll get that bed back to where it needs to be. Slowly coming back up, good to go. And coming back down. All right. Not bad at all there. Not a bad recovery. And if you guys enjoyed this recovery video, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions on the, in the comment section down below. If you like to see this uh, sort of a different style of uh, style of video, it's definitely fun to do. I really enjoy doing the tow truck RP. And uh, also, if you're new around here, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time.